Now, shamably, the highest expense that I've had in van life <laughs> is... <sighs> All right, guys, I hope y'all appreciate this because I'm actually bringing out the big boy for this video, sit down video. Bringing out the big boy. I am not on the vlogging camera, so I hope y'all appreciate this. All right, so I have my laptop in stow, getting it set up, testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, and hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> uh, I think I need to turn on my Wii booster for this and hopefully don't nobody come knocking on my door it's hot y'all I got the air on hopefully y'all can't hear that noise but I'm hot all right guys we are live set up everything I have my screen recorded for you guys so we are going to discuss and get down to the degree of what my monthly expenses are so if you didn't know this is probably probably the number one requested question in regards to van life how much does van life cost and today I'm actually sitting down with you guys and discussing the monthly expenses for van life now I do get asked how much I put into the van how much this condo on wheels cost so if you didn't know I do not share this information publicly quite as kept I do not share the information at all and here is why when I was initially speaking about van life and sharing it with my mom, I was getting a major side eye, okay? Major side eye, for real. And mother's shame is real. Still at 32 years old, a grown woman, mother's shame is real. So I did not disclose that information to her when I was going through this entire process and continuing to spend money and put dish and blah, blah, blah. I didn't disclose because I didn't, I didn't want that. I didn't want that in my life. I didn't want that negativity in my life. I didn't want that mother's shame, okay? And I tell my mom pretty much everything. So if my mama didn't know, then nobody know. And that still holds true today. Who knows what the future holds down the line. Of course, I will probably tell her, but that's just a little backstory on that. This video is not going to be about how much I invested into the van. It's going to be how much my monthly expenses is in van life full time. I have my screen here recording for you guys so you guys can just see how I track my monthly expenses and all that jazz. I use Airtable and Airtable, I pretty much, I, ooh, this is not the screen that I want y'all to see. Okay, hold on. Airtable is something I find extremely simple. It's an online, um, what is it called? It's an online Excel-like ordeal. Um, and it's easier for me than Excel because I don't know nothing about Excel. I can't stand Excel. It just confuses me. So Airtable is what I like to do. Um, and I can create my own tables and databases and stuff like that. So boom, here it is. Okay, so with Airtable, I am able to put things nice and simple for me and categorize things so on this first tab here I have all the expenses that that was dished out okay um, then on here I can categorize them by what type of expense it is and I can also categorize them by the month so if I go on to the main tab this is everything that was for the month of February and I can also filter it to put only show me um, the month of January. So right now we're going to look at everything for each category um, and see how I pretty much track everything and then add additional notes and, and whatever. For campgrounds and lodging, I spent a total of $174 for the month of January. Um, I have an Arizona state land, um, what is it, Arizona, um, let me actually get my notes. Hide, nope, don't hide the notes. Okay, so that way I put different notes in there just so I remember 
what it really is so the Arizona state land and pretty much what this is is in in the in the state of Arizona if you want to camp on state land BLM, BLM land then you have to purchase an Arizona state land permit and this was $21 they have an option for a $15 one but that's only if you're camping solo but because my mom was visiting me I purchased the $21 one I believe it was only $20 the $1 was just a processing fee but this is an expense that I needed because if there was a Paw Paw Patrol roaming around the lands, I needed to show this permit if they asked. And the fine for this, I want to say it's $400 plus. Dollars. So um, this, is, this is an expense that was a must. Second expense that I spent um, for Camp Grand and Lodging is when Mother and I went to the Grand Canyon. We stayed at a hotel. That expense was $125. I... I don't know I can't say that this is an expense that will be regular staying at a hotel but if you are solely hardcore van life and don't see the need for a hotel expense you know it's it, it won't apply to you guys um, another expense that may not apply to you guys is um, like a RV park or an actual official campground so I stayed at an RV park one night because I needed to hook up to electricity it had been raining for a few days straight and I wasn't really getting any sun so I figured that instead of stressing about my batteries going dead in the van I would just check into a state park where they have electricity or an RV park or any kind of park that I can plug into for the night and juice up my batteries that way so this is an expense that I find to be necessary for me um, the notes here yeah the notes here pretty much say that it you know it justifies me spending $28 for the night for electric water free Wi-Fi and laundry so in total for campground and lodging the amount came up to $174 again this is an expense that may not apply to most of you guys I presume that the month of February um, this will probably be omitted but we shall see so the next expense that we're going to talk about is gas now I thought that gas would be my highest expense but it turns out for the month of January it was not my highest expense so um, there's not really much to explain it's the total amount that I spent on gas for the month of January is three hundred and nine dollars and fifty two cents so when I get gas I fill up each time whether it's half a tank or whether it's on E I fill up each time now I rarely let my gas get to E or anywhere close to E I tend to fill up when my gas tank is at half a tank or a little less than half a tank um, but each time I do fill up I fill up to full depending on where I'm at for the month of January um, I think that the expense for gas um, will increase now I will say that sometimes I'm at a place for an entire week and I'm not really driving um, so of course gas is I don't put, spend money out on gas so in January I was actually in Phoenix for a, maybe about two weeks and I wasn't driving that much um, but when I'm steady venturing off and seeing other different places I do spend tend to spend more on gas however in December I know for sure my gas was through the roof I think November and December long story long sorry about that um, the total amount that I spent on gas was three hundred and nine dollars and fifty two cents for the month of January the third category and I believe the highest category no it is not the highest category oh my gosh that's how you know I just eat 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 okay so the third expense that we are going to talk about is groceries it, 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 it. I don't think I, I think that this is just me personally I don't think that I don't know depending on how much you eat or how much you think you need um, this expense may not be as um, high for you guys but for me the total amount of groceries that's just groceries not restaurants we'll get to that in a minute um, the total amount of groceries that I've purchased is three hundred seventy four dollars and zero cents 
I don't know if that's loud or not. I don't know. This also may include um, like toiletries, paper towels. I don't know why I put this chips, peanuts, but also includes stuff like that. So if I went to the grocery store and I got groceries as well as toiletries, um, this is calculated into that as well. Again, the grand total for groceries is $374.07. Okay, so laundry. I think that this expense will be probably double this amount only because when my mom was in town, we stayed at a hotel the first night and I did laundry for free. So that probably helps subsidize that cost. Um, but typically I spend $8 on laundry each each time I do laundry. So the recurring bills, recurring bills are just pretty much what it is, recurring bills. I have, you know, my Sprint bill that is $160 per month. Um, and that just includes my cell phone I, I honestly I I need to call them actually because I don't think it should be that high I just took my iPad off of Sprint and moved it to Verizon um, because I wanted that option to have Verizon cell signal whenever I needed it and honestly I thought that my Verizon um, hotspot would be better than my Sprint hotspot and it has not been that does not include my data so regular data Verizon ha I've been having more bars on Verizon than I have on Sprint. However, when it solely comes to hotspot and me streaming on my hotspot and doing work on my hotspot, the Sp Sprint has been better and the Sprint has not been throttled. They have not throttled me, which means they have not slowed down my hotspot because I'm over whatever gigabytes is set. Verizon, however, I have 30 gigabytes of hotspot and when I called them actually a few days ago they said I had reached 56 gigabytes of hotspot and it has it definitely is significantly slower they throttle they not playing around with with they little hotspots okay whatever my Verizon iPad and hotspot is $40 per month now my state farm bill is my renter's insurance. It is my auto insurance. And I believe it is my car insurance back home. But I pay $136 per month for my state farm insurance. I've been with state farm for years. We have, my family has had the same agent for years. So it was only right for me to continue on with my state State Farm agent Tim Kelly out of South Bend, Indiana. Great, by the way. For a little background information, my State Farm insurance covers the auto for the van and also covers the build. I also have renter's insurance, so little things like um, air fryers or things that are not structurally um, built into the van that is covered on the renter's insurance and also covers my storage back home so if you aren't really sure about what insurance covers or can cover then you know that's what it is i hear a lot of stories about their insurance not covering stuff like this i don't i don't know none about that all i know is what i'm covered for and zion is covered yeah. mm. <sighs> another expense that i pay reoccurring um so that I can live van life is my storage back home. So I did downsize. I had a storage in New York because I was living in New York for a minute. Um, and I also had a storage in Indianapolis. Over the summer, was it over the summer? When was it? When did? Yeah, over the last summer, I moved things out of my New York storage all into my Indianapolis storage in Indiana. Um, and then I moved everything right before I moved into the van from Indianapolis to South Bend, Indiana, and I also downsized. So I have one, thank God, I have one storage bill and that's $60 per month. Now, when it comes to van maintenance, I haven't had to put any money into the van thus far. I will need to get my oil change this month for sure. But $40.82, and that's because I needed to get fridge latch. So my fridge does not open when I'm going on these bumpy roads. I've had that um, horror experience recently and it's not fun. And I also um, need to get a magnetic screen for my sliding door uh, because I'm tired of bug finding it out. 
So $40.82 for the month of January, what I spent on van maintenance. Now going back up to miscellaneous items, um, miscellaneous items, here are the notes for that. <laughs> A total of $183. Miscellaneous items can be anything from buying some leggings to getting my nails done. <laughs> this is an expense that probably a lot of you will not have, but because I'm extra, this is my expense for miscellaneous. We have Bath and Body Works. I like to get those car fresheners from Bed and Body Work, no, Bath and Body Works because they smell absolutely amazing. So I spent four dollars thirty two cents on that. Forever 21, I explained that I explained this in one of my videos that I don't like to be my thighs don't like to be restricted in jeans, so I needed to get more leggings and sweatpants. I spent a total of thirty four dollars and fifty six cents on that. Um, I had to get some things for you know from the hair store, hair products. That's that. Did I? Oh, wait. Actually, I put that in there twice. I didn't spend that much, so delete that. Um, Forever 21, $43, actually. Sorry about that. This is an expense that you won't have if you don't like to get your nails done or your toes done. This is ex the expense that it's a non negotiable for me, kind of, sort of. Um, but I spend, you know, and this is actually a high expense. I went to a fancier nail salon this day. On average, I spend $45, $50 every three weeks. So this is on the higher end for that. This is something that's not going to be as high on February's monthly expense. Um, and then, you know, little things like I bought a mini waffle maker <laughs> from Walmart, blah, blah, blah. So total of miscellaneous items is $148.44. Again, this is something that may not apply to you. You might have your own miscellaneous expense that you will get shoes or whatever you feel, whatever, whatever applies to you and your miscellaneous, then whatever. Now, shameably, the highest expense that I've had in van life <laughs> is <sighs> restaurants. I like to eat. I like to go out to eat. Sometimes, most of the time, obviously, by the looks of this sheet here, I don't like to cook a lot of the times. And I, it is what it is. Um, the total amount that I have spent on restaurants in the month of January is four hundred thirty-nine dollars and seventy cents. This, I'm working on this. I, I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, but it is what it is for the month of January. I, I'm going to try better for the month of February not to be eating out like this and getting food. But I don't, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. Um, yeah, I think that a, a good portion of this was when my mom was here. Nope. She was here this day. She was here this day. Yeah, like, it's, it's, I don't condone this at all, okay? Spending $84 on Hot and Juicy, the crab and seafood restaurant. <sighs> I Look, I even had a note. Welcome dinner, LOL. Farewell dinner, LOL. Like, I know it's a little bit ridiculous, but what can I do? Did I die though? No. Am I hurting? No. So this is, you know... It is what it is. A total of $439.70 for the month of January in restaurants. I am going to do better for the month of February. This amount will not be as high for the month of January. However, what I thought about is I go to coffee shops a lot. A lot of these little charges, $432, $5, the little charges that I have here, a lot of them are coffee shops. I don't know if I'm willing to give up my coffee shops because when I do go to coffee shops, I feel that I need my coffee and I feel like I want to support that coffee shop because a lot of the coffee shops are local. Yeah, I have some Starbucks here and there, but the local call, I like supporting local coffee shops. It is what it is. I keep saying that because it is what it is. Yeah, so that is my monthly expenses for the month of January. The grand total of what I dished out for van life, solely van life and the necessities that I needed for van life, I should say, um, 
is $1,890.55. Honestly, I don't know if that's high or not. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Is, is that a high, is that a high amount? I really hope that this video has helped you see what, you know, the common expenses are. A lot of these expenses you probably won't have. You could pass without going to restaurants as much as I do or, you know, eating out as much as I do. Your grocery bill may be a little uh, slightly higher. Um... I just don't know. You know what you spend money on, right? You know what um, you can afford. I would say in regards to preparing for van life is write out what your monthly, your reoccurring monthly expenses are and also write out what you estimate your other monthly expenses are. What you spend on food or what you want to spend. If you want to budget, then write out a cap how much you want to spend on restaurants how much you want to spend on gas and that can vary depending on if you want to travel and travel more than you would like or not everything can be capped you don't have to spend eighteen hundred dollars on monthly expenses cap things off and don't go over that budget now again start with your reoccurring bills what you have to spend per month and then what you are going to cap the other monthly expenses are that you really don't necessarily have to spend per month see if it's worth it and then go from there yeah did that help you i hope it did because y'all know i don't do these sit down videos like that but i busted out the laptop and everything for y'all i got your little screenshots and and because y'all my friends right all right anywho thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl i really appreciate y'all I hope this video was helpful for you guys um, in knowing an estimate of what van life can cost. This may be on a high end for some people. It may be on a low end for some people. I don't know. This is on my end for me. However, I will be trying for the month of February to eliminate some of these restaurant expenses. That can be that can be lowered also what can be lowered is um some of the miscellaneous items that i put out groceries that i think that's about average gas i think that's about average it may be a little bit more um depending on where i go um lodging may be eliminated next month who knows but if you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see kind of see this on a monthly basis um if you want to see one of these videos for february for what i spent in february then let me know in the comment section below and we can make it happen for y'all um i'm gonna stop talking because my voice and my throat's a little parched again if you like this video if it was helpful for you guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section below share it with a buddy or two and as always, if y'all want to be friends with me, if you want to see more videos of your girl, <laughs> then hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate that. But as always, guys, stay inspired, keep dreaming, and be blessed.